Hi team! Listen, it's Christine Fink and I wanted to just talk to you guys for a minute about the benefits of doing monthly free groups for people. I'm talking three, five, seven day max groups, but what I find is if I'm not hosting those things, I'm lacking in something next to invite people to. And those free challenges are the easiest ones to invite to. You have no pressure. It's easy to reach out to those people that maybe you haven't spoken to in a while, or maybe somebody newer that you're developing a relationship with that you've started talking to, and it's not quite at that point where they've expressed any interest about getting healthy and fit, or they need help with their nutrition. So you're not really at the point where you would maybe introduce, you know, invite them about uh, if they've considered coaching, or if they invite them to your next challenge group, you know, for a 30-day challenge group kind of thing. So what I find is, um, I, you know, I keep my list of who I've, you know, added to my, um, to my network. And I'll go back through or I'll go back to my list of 100, maybe my Facebook friends, things like that, that um, it's just such an easy, easy way to say, Hey, listen, um, I'm prepping for a free healthy menu group coming up. Um, would love to invite you to it. Is that something you might be interested in? Boom. Done. Copy and paste it. Send it off to the next person. These are things that you can take a little pocket of time, find a template, and matter of fact, I'm going to give you guys my latest one that I've been using so you have... Um, like a private message invite. You could do it by email as well, but something just very quick, a private message invite. If they respond yes, what you can respond back. If they say, can I have some more information? I'll give you what I send back to them as well too. And one of my biggest tricks and tips is set up your, set up your invite. Like I said, a couple of sentences. Um, hey, I'm just getting ready for my next healthy menu group would love to have you join us. Is that something you might be interested in? Boom, done, right? Copy that. You paste it. So you're keeping your list of who you've invited. You go through lists, write the name who you invited. You copy that and paste it to, in a private message, text, email, to as many people as you can in a 15-minute pocket of time, let's say. Part of your power hour that day. 15 minute pocket of time and you're going to do this about a week and a half to maybe even two weeks in advance of when your scheduled start date is. 15 minutes, boom, 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 paste, 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 paste. People start responding to you, ignore it. Don't bother with it right now. Right now you're just in the invite process. If you don't have time after that 15 minutes is up to respond, that's something you can do later. Get back to the people that have responded to you. What I do as I'll make a highlighter, grab a highlighter, and I'll just underline that person's name if they've responded but haven't said yes. So I'll know when I go back, okay, this is somebody that at least responded to me, so I wanna make sure I follow up and check on it. If they said yes, I highlight them completely. That way I know they're in, and when I go back to add into the group, I know exactly of the people, this is the whole list of people I invited. These are the people that said yes because I've highlighted them. And all I do once they say yes is I shoot them back um, a little message that says, great, I'm so excited to have you. Here's the details. I'll be opening the group on this day. I'll be posting the menu um, this day and we'll be officially starting this day. Can't wait, excited to see you. Boom, done. Copy and paste the exact same response. So that's why it makes sense to do these in pockets of invite. Don't invite, invite, and then, oops, when I responded, go back and respond to them. It gets you far too distracted. You're not focused. Take a pocket of time, 5, 10, 15 minutes, shoot out as many invites as you possibly can, and then come back to the next 15 minutes, or maybe it's later in the day, maybe it's not even until the next day when you respond to everybody that said either yes or they wanted more information, but you can keep track of it that way. And now you've engaged those people, you've started to build a further relationship with them, you've given them something of value for nothing. It just gets everybody you know, more on the radar screen and you can start seeing those people that maybe 
are getting more engaged, that might be interested, are getting benefits from that free healthy menu group that are the engagers. And those are the people then that you can look to for inviting to your next challenge group that are more likely going to want to participate because they had such a good experience with you in your free group. So I hope that helps in expanding your network and making the most of using a free group to touch base, invite, and get that practice down. Like I said, guys, in our um, Team Aspire Coaches Corner group, I will put the template that I'm currently using so you have it at your fingertips. As always, with everything I do, you guys are free to duplicate that, tweak it to your own, um, but use that as a template for you. Absolutely. I'm here to help. So if you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day, guys.